Good morning and welcome. This is uh, September 28th, the day in the church calendar of uh, September 29th is the feast and festival of, of St. Michael Angels. We will be uh, uh, recognizing that this morning in our matin service. The uh, order of matin will be 219, but we will begin by singing the eight stanzas of 522, Lord God, to thee we all give praise.
issue from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence.
Revelation of St. John, chapter 12. Now war arose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who was called the devil, and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world, he was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives even unto death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil has come down to you in great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. The second reading is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 18th chapter. At that time the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And calling to him a child, he put him in the midst of them and said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world for temptations to sin. For it is necessary that temptations come, but woe to the one by whom the temptation comes. And if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than with two hands or two feet to be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than with two eyes be thrown into the hell of fire. See to it that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. For the Son of Man came to save the lost. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Join the response reading. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Um, first, a little 
bit about this day, St. Michael and all angels. The name of the archangel, St. Michael, of course, saint simply means a holy one, and the angels are holy, not like human saints who are holy because of faith in Christ, but holy because they were created that way. The name of the archangel St. Michael means, who is like God? Michael is mentioned in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, as well as in the book of Jude and Revelation, as we heard today. Daniel portrays Michael as the angelic helper of Israel, who leads the battle against the forces of evil. In Revelation, Michael and his angels fight against and defeat Satan and the evil angels, driving them from heaven. Their victory is made possible by Christ's own victory over Satan in his death and resurrection, a victory announced by the voice in heaven, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. Michael is often associated with Gabriel and Raphael, the other chief angels or archangels who surround the throne of God. Tradition names Michael as the patron and protector of the church, especially the protector of Christians at the hour of death. Johann Gerhard includes a, a bit about angels in, I think it's a sermon on St. Michael, angels. He says, what is the angel's attitude towards human beings? This the Lord Christ reveals with one word when he calls them, in our Matthew 18 passage, their angels. That is, the angels of the little ones, the servants of the children and all believers. They render the service to every Christian in manifold ways. While we are children, God assigns our angels to us as Christ tells us in the gospel. When we grow older and go our own way, that is, walk in the ways of our calling, God also assigns angels to us, as we read in the Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 91. When we sleep, the angels watch and protect us against the devil. When we die, they carry our soul to Abraham's bosom. Their protection is ours through life. Why is it that the angels readily serve the believers, though they are much nobler and higher than we? First, because they are confirmed in the good and therefore gladly and fully obey God's will. God's will and order is that they serve us. The army of the heavens, sun, moon, and stars maintain their order given them by God for man's sake. All the more will the heavenly army of the holy angels maintain its order. Second, because our nature is raised in Christ above all angels and archangels, therefore the angels do not refuse to serve us men in honor of the human nature assumed by Christ. As an entire race is brought to honor by a marriage, so the marriage of the Son of God with humanity has restored the human race to honor. What wonder then that the angels serve us, since the Son of God, the Lord of angels, came to earth that he might serve us. Third, because love is pure and perfect in them, the angels joyfully serve us as does the Lord, who, by him, who himself is love in whose image the angels were created and who declared, I will rejoice in doing them good. And fourth and finally, because we shall someday be with them, with the angels, uh, in heaven and join their choir in praising God, the angels are happy to serve us here on earth. It is good for us to remember the angels, that great protected, protecting army, spiritual army, that they, that they watch over us, protect us, and are part of God's gift to us as we live this life. We should remember that the angels watch over us, they mourn over our sin, but they also rejoice over the salvation brought to us by Christ and joy as we believe in God and as we also serve Christ. We join in singing the canton of this day, the Te Deum, page 223. <laughs>
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. in a wonderful order. Mercifully grant that as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may also help and defend us here on earth. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, we pray that your grace may always go before and follow after us, that we may continually be given to all good works. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Any special prayers today? For Jacob and his decisions. Okay, yeah, Jacob for his uh, decision about, uh, upcoming decision about uh, the military. Lord God, Heavenly Father, you do give us your wisdom and the ability to make decisions pleasing to you. Pray that you would be with Jacob as he faces this, this uh, important decision, that you would give him your wisdom, your grace, and your uh, reason to decide in a way that is pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. You fed us in the same with your mighty power. And grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by your governments, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 